Hey fellow Soul Gardeners, I'm Skip Jennings, your spiritual cheerleader here at the Soul Garden. Welcome to another episode of The Urban Mystic. So what are we doing right now? Where are we? Well, Scorpio, hey, it's your time. But we all have that Scorpio energy within us. So we're talking about transformation. We're talking about releasing the old. We're talking about setting boundaries. So the last couple of weeks, we identified boundaries and why we need to set boundaries. And then last week, we really talked about boundaries to help our spiritual growth. This week, I wanna to talk to you about something. I wanna to talk to you about when we set boundaries and we're releasing things that do not serve us anymore, we're saying yes to a new life. We're saying yes to a new way to live. We're saying yes to a new existence. What do you stand for? What do you out there in Soul Garden, what are you standing for? Because if you don't stand for something, you will fall for anything. You've heard that like, I don't know how many times, that's an old saying that's been out there forever. So the truth is, when we make those boundaries, we are now making a decision to say yes to something, so our life needs to support the yes. So if you're in that place where you're fighting against something, I'm gonna ask you to shift that. Stop fighting against, we have too many fights against something. We have the fight against drugs, the fights against gay marriage, the fight against this, the fight against that, the fight against terrorism. Ah, oh, God, stop fighting, start living. So we release that whole energy, the fight against something, and we say, I stand for. So now I'm gonna ask you that question out there. What do you stand for? I stand for compassion. So if that is what you're saying, you stand for compassion, then your life needs to lead a life that's compassionate. Compassionate to other people, compassionate to showing love, compassionate to someone that's less fortunate than you. Maybe you might say, I stand for joy or I stand for happiness. Let me ask you, are you a joyful person? Are you a happy person? Do people wanna be around you? Do you like having fun with people? If you don't, then I don't think you really stand for happiness and joy. Well, maybe you say, I stand for the planet. I stand for keeping Mother Earth together. Well, let me ask you, are you still using plastics? Are you still running the water too much? Are you still out there littering? What is your life saying? Does it support what you stand for? We need to make decisions to support our life. Again, what do you stand for? I think you know what the seven day challenge is all about. It's about identifying your life and what you stand for. We've seen the boundaries, we know what we're releasing, now we're saying what we are and what we stand for, what our life needs to be. It's time to journal that. It's time to make a list. And in this list and in your journal, I want you to write everything you see yourself standing for. Everything that you want your life to be about. If it's about the planet, if you want to be green, if it's about love, if it's about joy, if it's about compassion, if it's about love, sharing love, then you need to journal that down. And then you need to find things that will support your decision that you're going to stand for this. It takes a lot of work. It takes practice, 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 practice. Don't beat yourself up if you say I stand for this and you see you yourself doing the opposite. Don't beat yourself up because we all go through it. It's a journey. Perfection is who you are, not what you do. It's through those times that we kind of mm, fall down, do we lift ourselves up and go on. So that is your work for the next seven days. Here is your affirmation. I am free to stand for my life. It's an amazing affirmation, we're gonna say it again. I am free to stand for my life. And whatever that life is, my friends, you need to claim it, you need to take a hold of it, you need to say, this is who I am. I set that boundary and I'm gonna live this life to the fullest. So, been hanging out with you for the last three weeks. Don't forget, next week is our shout out episode. If you wanna be a part of this shout out episode, you need to send me some questions. You need to make some comments so I can read them on 
TV for you guys and answering them. So if you leave me a comment, I will answer them online for you as well. Don't forget, tap on SG Elite. We have some great practitioners there, great new practitioners that's jumping off right now. So I want you to check those guys out. Remember, I do one-on-one. Check out Julie Zipper and Ariel. Ariel, I gotta tell you, he came and hooked up my house. He feng shui my house. Big shout out. He will help you shift the energy in your home. So big shout out to him. So guys, I'm sending you love and light. Remember, until next time, I'm Skip Jennings. So God and